gorgeous. Uh, that is a beautiful galette. And so that's what we're going to be talking about right now. Apple picking is, of course, a family favorite. And there's nothing like a delicious apple dessert like this one. So Paul is back with me in the kitchen. And you've made this beautiful creation. Um, it all starts with the apples. Of course. So we're going to start by talking about the apples you want to choose that are going to give you uh, the best. The perfect baked good. The perfect baked good. Right. And Really, for this kind of application, any apple will work, yes. but for baking in general, you want firm apples that'll hold their shape. Mm -hmm. And those can be broken down into two categories. You've got sweet, and then you have tart. Okay. They're all sweet, but like sweet tart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, and so classically good apples for baking are golden delicious and matsus. Those are These ones? sweet. Yes. And they'll hold their shape. Okay. But I like a little bit of tartness. Yes. So you could use a Granny Smith. These are super tart. Yeah. Or Pink Lady. They're just okay. pretty. They're tart. They're sweet. Yes. They hold their shape. They're kind of like the perfect apple and that's the one that we're going to use for this galette. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah. I love that apple. Especially because so much of the skin is going to be visible. It yeah. gives you a, ni a nice look in the it's end. It's pretty. Yeah. Okay, so, so once we've chosen the apple we want to use. Once we've chosen it, I'm going to show you, this is the way I like to cut ap an apple for a galette. It's okay. so easy, and it gives you uniform pieces. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people cut it in half and core it. This is just way easier. Watch, okay. watch. One. Yeah. Two. Okay. Three. Four. That's it. Yeah. And then on the flat side for safety. And then you start dicing them up. Just like that. Okay. Nice thin slices. A nice slice. Because you want the slices to be the same and right. look pretty. That is good. That is good and easy. That's easy to remember. And to do a, a half galette, you only need two apples. To do a whole large galette, you only need four apples. So it doesn't really take that much. And look, I just did one whole apple. Now, do you care about the fact that apples tend to go a little bit brown if they're, you know, out in oxygen for a long time? Well, no. I mean, these have been out for a little bit. They look fine. And yeah. this comes together so fast. Okay, I'm going to show you. Great. So I had this thought. Yes. I love store-bought puff pastry, and mm -hmm. it's full of butter. So I thought if we dust the bottom with a cardamom sugar okay. and then well, if we dust it and then flip it, yes. won't it caramelize into a crispy bottom? Wouldn't it? Absolutely. Okay. And so, <laughs> I was testing and you want a good amount. This is just sugar with cardamom. Oh, that looks good. And I'm using just one 10 by 10 sheet here. If you want yeah. to do a double, you can easily just double it up. Okay. Now I want to press that in. And this has got a little soft on me, but yes. let's see it. We need to also talk about sort of how you don't want this out for a long time. You want to work with it cold. Yeah. Yeah. But you see, this has been out for quite some time. It's still, it's still doable. And you can still do it. Yeah. And it's ugly right now, right? Yeah. But it doesn't matter. We're going to cover it up Who with cares? apples. It's not even that ugly, really. <laughs> it's so a now, bit ugly. onto the top. Okay. A little bit of cinnamon sugar. Nice. Beautiful. Because we don't want to toss these thin slices with the cinnamon sugar because they'll break. Okay. And you want them to hold their shape. And now, if you'll help me, yes. let's just start layering on. But I feel like you did them so perfectly. Just leave a little bit of an edge. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Okay. Just grab, you know, a handful. You could do this with your kids. Yes. Watch and your hands, kids. That's right. <laughs> and get in there. And then, once you've layered them all on, just a little egg wash around the edges. This is actually super fast for something that looks so fancy. It's Imagine this is a dessert. You have people coming over and they see that. It's so fast and They'll easy. They'll think you were in the kitchen for 36 hours. <laughs> so egg wash around Climate. the edges. <laughs> and then a little bit more cinnamon sugar on top okay. of the apples. Okay, very nice. Look, look, and this is the time done. of year to make a recipe like this. We know the apples are out there. There's so many different varieties. You can have a lot of fun. You're going to go apple picking with your family. It's and you nice. get all those apples. You don't even know what you're going to do with them. This is a great way to use them. Absolutely. It's nice to also have a little puff pastry in the freezer because when you come home, you're like, I can make something in 30 minutes. Why not? You'd be like the best dad ever. <laughs> look, someday, I'm just going someday. to rip up a gullet. <laughs> So into a, into a 375 degree oven, this is really important, mm -hmm. for anywhere between 20 and 40 minutes. So okay. puff pastry is very sensitive. Everyone's oven's different. Don't walk yes. away. When it pops okay. up, when it's nice and brown, it's done. So Pull it out. Between 20 and 40 minutes, that's a big window, It's a big right? window, but I so tell people that. So keep your eye on it. Yeah, because if you're dealing with gas oven versus electric, yes. convection versus older ovens, yeah. it, it varies a lot. So okay. I say keep an eye on it. That's and fair. And in case this isn't nice enough, mm -hmm. A little whiskey maple whipped cream. Yes. Yes. All it is, 
is some whipping cream. I've already whipped it a little bit. Okay. A little bit of Canadian whiskey. Not much, you can see. But you want to pour that in for me? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, pour it in where again? Pour in it here? into the bowl. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that smells amazing. And you're just going to whisk that together. Mm -hmm. And you've taken three ingredients and made this beautiful dessert topping in no time at all. That's amazing. Okay, so you've baked it, you've, you're doing some icing sugar, you've got the great whipped cream. Um, what are you gonna do with the whip, actually? You're not gonna put it out on, you're just gonna no. serve it up with that, like plate it with that? No, I like to serve this with a pizza cutter. You can take yeah. it right to the middle of the table. That's so nice. Have oh, people that's so good. cut their own pieces yes, and then invite sir. them to have as much as, of this as they like. Paul's so good. Recipe uh, is online at cityline.tv. Give it up for Chef Paul. Lincoln.